Hi guys, how are you and welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to show you how to use your router in order to access some USB content that you have on your USB key or hard drive and stuff like that. So the first thing you'll need is a router that allows you to access to your USB. So basically I have Archer C7 and that router has two USB ports. I'll show you that router to you later. So basically what I, I do, I just take my USB key or hard drive, I plug it in to the router and then I'm able to access that on my network but the first thing we have to do is basically enable that options onto the router configuration so I will show you how it works with my router and maybe you'll have the same router as me or if you have another router it will give you an idea of how you can do it so let's get started so here as you can see this is my router it is Archer C7 if you want a great router for the price I recommend you this router it is a very good router and it's not expensive, it's about, I would say, 70 US bucks, okay? So, I will turn my router to the other side so I can show you better what it looks like. So it looks like this, and the only thing we're interested in, in this video is the um, USB slots there, okay? So here, as you can see, I have already one USB plugged in. So here I have two, you see? So me, I have one that's USB 1 and another one that's USB 2. So I can plug two USB devices there and I will be able to access these devices that are plugged in into my network or if you want, you can enable the router so you can access them from uh, other networks. So basically if you are at school and you want to access some content that is on your USB, you can allow that. So the first thing you do, you just take your device and you plug it in and when it's plugged in you will see that one uh, LED will turn on and now I will show you what to do on the configuration of your router and also how to access the content of the USB on your computers and also on your mobile devices so let's do it so here as you can see we are on my computer and the first thing we want to know is the default gateway basically the default gateway will allow you to access your router and to change some configurations okay so the first thing you want to do is open the command prompt by typing cmd here you press on enter and then you will type ipconfig you will click on enter and basically the only thing you want to know is this number the default gateway for me it's this one 192.168.0.1 it is possible that you will have the same default gateway as me okay so when you have your default gateway you will be able to use any web browser in order to access your router and to change some configurations so me i'm using google chrome you can use firefox internet explorer whatever it is so here we're gonna type the default gateway my default gateway is this one you maybe have this one or that one that one here at the end and then you will press on enter so you will get to this uh, web page. It won't look the same as mine. Maybe if you have the same router, it should look the same. So basically, each router have default uh, username and password. So you have to search for your model number here, and you have to go on the internet and search for the username and the default ga uh, password. Sorry. And if you already changed the username and the default uh, password. Well, you have to type uh, the ones you choose in here so you can access your router. So for me, just uh, admin as username and admin as password. Then I will click on login. So here, as you can see, this is my router and you can see it gives all the information and we can change some stuff here so we can use the USBs and look at the content, access the content, add some content and whatever it is. So for us, it's just on USB settings. We'll go here and then as you can see, when I plugged my USB before, it shows you the available free space and the capacity of the USB and basically it's uh, the name of that USB is volume one. So in order to uh, know how to access this USB, you will go into folder sharing. So here in folder sharing, you have network neighborhood. I think this one is uh, allowed by default. So basically in order to access your USB content, you will have to use this link. All right. I'll show you how to use that one. Uh, you can also use an FTP basically to access uh, your USB from an FTP 
uh, server if I'm not wrong I won't show you how to do this and you all can also allow FTP remote so basically I don't think I'll show you the number that's right here I think I'll just block the numbers so you can see it but if you allow FTP remote you will be able to access your USB from other computers that are not in your network so basically from school and other stuff like that so you can allow it it depends on you the bad uh, thing about this is that if anyone knows the number here they will be able to access your files on your USB so basically um, you have to be sure that no one knows this number and if there are some good and talented hackers they will maybe be able to access your USB content so if you have uh, something very important on your USB key I won't recommend you to allow FTP remote but if you don't care if it's not uh, very important what you have on your USB key you can allow FTP remote okay so for us in this video we're only using network neighborhood so you have to remember this one it's just backslash backslash 192.168.0.1 so with this link we can use it on any device that is connected to our network any computer any smartphone that is connected on the network so when you know this number in order to access it from your computer you can go right here and you can type in here you just type backslash two times 192.168.0. sorry 0 0.1 and you will press on enter so here as you can see this is volume 1 this is the name of my USB so I'm just going to open it and as you can see I have all the stuff on my USB right here I have some pictures these are pictures from uh, labs at school and I can access everything on my USB here so this is very useful if you plan to work between some computers on your network so you just put a USB there you can put some stuff and access it from other computers you won't have to take the USB out and plug it in in other computers you can access everything on that USB that is connected to your router from any device on your network so this is how it works from your computer how to access your USB content from your computer so now what I'm going to show you is how to access it from a smartphone. So as you can see I am on my smartphone and what you will do in order to access your files on your USB is open Google Play and basically type in ES file explorer file manager and you will install that application. Okay so when the installation is done what you will do you will just open it and then you will click on here and you will go into network here and you will click into LAN so basically what you will do when you will be there you will just click on scan so this will scan for all the devices that are connected to your network so if you have a computer connected to the network a smartphone or, or whatever it is it will show it to you right here it will also show you uh, your network all right so when basically this is done or you see or you can see that uh, the number we saw before the 192.168.0.1 is there what you want to do is simply open that and when you will open that you will see that volume 1 will appear basically volume 1 is the USB that is plugged onto the router so you can click on that and voila you have all the content that is on your USB in here so you can access it from your smartphone so here as you can see I have a picture you can access it you have some folders that we can open we have everything and if you have movies music or anything you want you will be able to access it from your smartphone so I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something so if you did please click on subscribe it helps me a lot and if you're subscribed to my video I'll see you in the next video bye bye and take care